What's up this? What's up this? What's going on guys? It is day three of this uh, bag install as you know or if you don't know if you're just watching uh, I am installing uh, airbag system the 3P from uh, Airlift Performance um, but nevertheless um, I was able to pick up the package from UPS and the long story short I had to wait an hour and a half because they UPS have been going through the whole turmoil between everybody ordering stuff and things like that so nevertheless I finally got the package and it's a, it's a little bit ruined and I'm kind of concerned about it I'm gonna show you guys why I'm concerned so let's go ahead and do the unboxing together and as you already know I got knife knife on deck so knife knife means there's an unboxing so let's get to it all right guys so nevertheless this is the box as you see this is how it came which is very 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 disturbing and it's disturbing because let me show you guys let me let me angle this thing let me angle this thing down let me angle this thing down all right calves calves are popping by the way all right i'm trying to shoot guys <laughs> so this is disturbing because um the bags are literally right here now if anything puncture or come in you know it can you know who's to say that the bag is actually ruined so i hope when i install it i hope i don't have no uh no problems and ready yet i think i might go the extra route to avoid piercing the entire box with uh with knife knife so we're gonna try to avoid piercing the box with knife knife so we don't want no problems avoid knife knife so, um, i used this last night this is a handy tool if you don't have one of these these come in handy I was able to grab one of the airlines and pull it through a small hole. So, I it off. so you just gotta remember what you do, guys. So, nevertheless, yeah, I'm going back and forth. There we go. That's bag one, bag two, bag one, bag two. All right. Then we have the adaptive system, so because we have the adaptive control, so nevertheless, I am going to continue uh, keeping my um, my uh, suspension. Uh, all right, they gave me another water trap. Hmm. Interesting. We got a lot of tools, guys. Looking for. I didn't have these, so I was waiting to actually plug up what I can plug. So actually, I chose majority of my fittings to be uh, nickel. Uh, so I wanted most of my fittings to be nickel plated. And then I have some, um, I think it's some, um, and then you got, see, so if you make an order with uh, Universal Air, just be cognizant of the boxes. So it came in three different boxes. The last box pretty much had all of the um the pretty much the bells and whistles of everything everything is important but you know just make sure that you check the box because of course the loose screws came off so just make sure that you uh you check the box so i'm not going to throw this box away until i actually put everything together because i got see i got more bolts and, and things like that so Have this other box and this box should have this should have my yep this is my extra this is what I was this is what I wanted this is what I was looking for yeah here we go yeah so this is the this is the important part right here Yes, so I got this. So this is for my second compressor. As you see, quick connect. So I'm easily gonna quick connect this bad boy and 
route it, and then you get an extra fuse. Oh yeah. So now, so now I have no excuses. So let me go ahead and get to work. I'm gonna update you guys on one of the wheel wheels as far as the setup. So I'm gonna walk you through that. And then I need to get this thing going because I need to be ready at least by Friday or Thursday night, Friday morning, something like that. So stay tuned guys. Watch the stairs. All right guys, so I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I went on ahead and popped one of these, uh, mind you, I'm, I'm not advertising nobody, but I went on ahead and did one of these zero calorie uh, cola, cola little deals. You know I'm all about them health gains. Ah. But anyway, um, see I got my, I got my good old reflective gloves in the game, but here is what I have thus far. So it's a big difference between what I what I had initially starting off and then where I'm at right now. So I was able to coil up. So since I'm running everything from the back of the battery, and that's one of the good things about having these uh, Mopar Dodge Challengers and Chargers, the battery is in the back. So the downside is you have a whole bunch of cable and whatnot, but since I'm gonna be keeping my actual um, my actual deal and I'm not putting the tank inside here, I went on ahead and coiled it over in here so everything still looks OEM. Um, and what I have right here is, that's, this is the, um, the first compressor that's gonna be on this side and then this is gonna be the second compressor on that side. So I just want to make sure I have enough slack for that. But nevertheless, uh, the power connections are like so. Uh, here are both of my grounds uh, connected to the actual battery terminal ground. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to avoid connecting on this terminal because if I have to take it off, I don't want it. I just want to just take off the battery and not focus on, oh, well, I got this connected. But right here, I have the power connected to this one because this line is ran to the actual uh, positive on that lead as you can see here because it's red 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 but nevertheless and then I have the signal wire that's going to be going uh, to this fuse so this is going to go inside here it's going to dress inside here just to make sure that the cover uh, covers it up so this is as of right now where I'm at I'm satisfied with it matter of fact let's go ahead and put in we're going to go ahead and put in this baby right here. Let's see if I can one hand it. Let's see if I can one hand it. We gonna see if I can one hand it. So we gonna try to one hand this thing. These hands. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, oh. All right. Whew. Hold on, you gotta breathe. All right, let me set this thing up. I'm gonna set this thing up like so. So you guys can understand the magnitude of this. You know what I mean? They already starting to pop firecrackers. All right. Did I put it in there wrong? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that right? No, I think it like this. I think it goes in here first. And then. Yeah, there you go. There we go. And then make sure that this is not caught up on anything and then we're gonna move this to the side a little bit more we don't want that to be smushed ah, ah there we go all right that looks good all right all right guys we are good to go so I am satisfied with this. So you guys can see right here. So if I needed to pull this up, I can just pull, pull right here, or I can come with the quick uh, disconnect right here. Whew, that's a little tough. But I can come with the quick disconnect. I like these quick disconnects. This is so convenient. Um, so I have this set up that I'm running. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm uh 
see what these disconnects well I should be all right it's gonna be in here but I don't think I need to cover it up but nevertheless guys this is this is the type of uh, wine situation that I have going on and then of course you can see uh, all of my wiring uh, that's right here you can see all of this wiring uh, where you at where you at so you can see all of the wiring right here it's all dressed up so it's kind of hidden so once I put that cover on you know everything is literally underneath so I don't have to worry about nothing poking out and then I'm able to put the cover back on I'm pretty sure I'm able to put the cover back on so the actual relay cover will be back on so I would just put this terminal boop power that up we good to go but nevertheless let's go ahead I think I want to go ahead and start tackling the struts, the the, uh, the crazy part struts. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the front. So I'm going to start with the front and then uh, work my way around. Sheesh, that's a lot. And then we still have to, uh, we still got to dress up the, um, the actual tank. So the tank still has to do, still got to do all that and plumbing and stuff. So still a lot to do. Uh, this is a uh, day today is Wednesday so this is still day this is day three so I might pull the overnighter trying to get this all knocked out like I did last night but nevertheless stay tuned guys I'm gonna try to make sure I give you so much so I think it's it's pretty self-explanatory I think if anything if you're watching this you know it's pretty much trying to see how somebody else pulled up theirs and you can see my layout here that it, it, it literally looks like OEM everything literally looks like OEM and then this is going to be right underneath uh, the carpet there so uh, just wait till you see my layout I already know what I want to do with my tank layout so it's going to be OEM I'm just going to have it probably stagnant but nevertheless uh, let me go ahead and get all those other lines going uh, with the struts since that came in I'm excited about it so let me see how far I can get on that so stay tuned guys all right guys, so we are getting to the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. So with that being said, I'm tackling the front, uh, the front straight, uh, the front strut bar, straight bar, strut bar. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm gonna give you guys some pointers, right? So uh, what I did was I took bolt off here. Uh, bolt off here, right there. That's off, and then bolt off right here okay now the unique thing about this like I said I have adaptive control so you want to make sure you loosen up this cable too this is like a little sensor or whatnot uh, so you have to come over here and uh, take off the little sensor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop off this tab right there um, and also you want to loosen up uh, from the assembly for the strut uh, up top of course so uh, you see I got my this thing is long look at it the camera don't do it justice so we're gonna go ahead and pop that off Oop, without trying to break it god bless which one is this one all right hold on I got two I got two for days I'm prepared for this situation okay there we go okay but I don't want to break it okay all right so we're gonna get it like that there we go all right all right there we go yep yep come on out uh-huh yep mm-hmm mm-hmm you want to rotate it now this thing is is exaggerating long so if you imagine how big your wheel well is this thing is literally the the length of your wheel well so it may be too much I may be doing the most but it got the job done so you want to take this out and then you want to put it in a secure place so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together like so oh my tab broke wow but luckily I have more always keep extra tabs oh my god and then I had the right the, the right tool for it so no don't judge the shoes that's how I usually uh, do my mods all right, and then I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take off this one too. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, touch bases with you guys. Let me go ahead and take this off so I make sure I don't break anything else. And focus, focus. So stay tuned, guys. 
All right, guys. So check this out. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update because I'm I'm feeling a little worried about this. I might go ahead and bring that jack over here, but I hate this line looking like that. I have a I have some type of OCD type deal because I feel like that's gonna pierce open. But needless to say, if you're having trouble trying to take off the spindle, I think this is the spindle from here, which I was having like 30 minutes. And the reason why I was having trouble is because I was using a, a rubber mallet. Man, just get a regular hammer and just whack the crap out of it. And then the bolt just loosened right up and then the thing just fell out. So um, now I'm about to assemble, um, I'm about to assemble uh, the strut. So I'm assemble the, one of the front struts and then I'm gonna go from there. So just stay tuned guys. All right guys, so going, going into another uh, update, I uh, just wanted to update you guys on the progression thus far and I am I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm not, I'm not doing too good. This install, so mind you, plumbing everything, getting everything routed, <coughs> getting everything routed, taking things off as you see here, you know, and I got this bad boy sitting right there where it was on the jack, but now it's back pool. I don't like that. God dang it, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But um, I might have to go ahead and put that back up there. Uh, since that's hanging I don't like that sitting up there because I got a feeling that that thing is just gonna snap but nevertheless I'm gonna take care of that but the problem that I'm facing is the material so the adaptive control that I got for one I, I give you guys the example I'm gonna show you guys this so out of the package that I picked up from UPS I was waiting on all of my fittings and I was waiting on the actual bag itself right so with that being said they provided me with the associated fittings right so nevertheless this is a half inch and with that being a half inch I should be able to put that one on right which is cool no problem right I can do that but that is primarily the only half inch I got this is I think this is a 3.8 so if I want to do my other bag my other line I can't even you see what I mean you see so I have where's the other one? I have another one so better so, uh, so needless to say, I have I have basically two of those. So, I have two of those, and then they they gave me they just gave me a lot of stuff that doesn't match, and it's and it's frustrating because I want to be done with this install. And one of the major things that I can do is I can go down to a hardware store and I can get one of those pieces. So that's not really a big deal. It is it, but it's not. The biggest deal is out of the pack bracket that I it, uh, that I got is that I only received one of these. So, and these are for the rear. So, mind you, I'm using the existing uh, strut suspension. Um, so, with that being said, you know, I only have one. So, I don't know if the box that I have from UPS because that box was poorly handled um, didn't come out right. But um, nevertheless. You know, I'm just missing my onesie twosies, and that's you know, it's 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 very it's very much frustrating because this should not take. I would say I should be done tomorrow. So if anything, I would say this should be a four day thing. Um, that's if you have, if you're not well, so it should be maybe three days. Three days. That's if you're not missing everything. Everything came in on time, but I've been experiencing delays. Um, I'm not gonna count the fact that, you know, I haven't been fully working on it like, you know, 24 seven, but that's one of the things. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take care of the tank and the air compressor setup. So I have that in the house. So I already uh, did some markings on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and line all those things out and then uh, we gonna get going from there guys. So. Just stay tuned. I appreciate you guys. Uh, 
let me show you what I have so far as far as my layout for my compressor. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not feeling. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold, I'm trying to hold my composure so bad, so bad. But nevertheless, that's how it is. Anyway, watch so serious. Urgh. So let me go ahead and show you this layout. Waffle Zeers! Uh.